The Nigerian Senate, Federal Ministry of Solid Minerals Development and stakeholders in the solid mineral subsector of the economy have agreed on the need to explore it for the purpose of tackling the current foreign exchange crisis in the country. The gathered at a three-day investigative hearing on the need to comprehensively review the input and output values of the Nigeria mining industry in the light of its central role to economic diversification, foreign exchange earnings and social inclusion. It was organized by the Senate Committee on Solid Minerals Development. Declaring the event open, President of the Senate, Gatswila Pabio, wondered why the national economy continues to rely solely on crude oil. He noted that his observations were the fundamental questions that the stakeholders must confront and address. So today, we are gathered here with a shared purpose to ask the very tough questions and seek answers, those that will shape the future of this great nation, and liberate ourselves from the shackles of oil dependence, and even liberate ourselves from insecurity caused by illegal mining. How can we transform our mono economy into a fully diversified economy? That's part of what concerns you. So we are here to make suggestions on how to improve Nigeria's IGA. In his remarks, Minister of Solid Minerals Development Dele Alake said the reason that the forex problem remains was because the nation is dependent solely on oil hands. There was a free flow of petrol dollars. The minister said lack of adequate funding for exploration and insecurity are the main challenges slowing down the development of the mining sector. When I came into office about 10 months ago and I unfolded my seven-point agenda, I did say that my vision and objective is to ensure that the solid mineral sector contributes very significantly, and I put a figure of 50% to the GDP at that time. A lot of people scoffed at that figure, thinking it was a mirage. But it is not a mirage if we have all our inputs that are necessary to rejig the sector. The sector can overtake the oil industry in this country. It has that potential. As at the last count, when we signed an MOU with the German company, Geoscan Limited, is a geological survey and data gathering agency or company, and it is world certified. It gave us a minimum of 750 billion worth of solid minerals underground in Nigeria. And that is just a minuscule of the entire potential that we have. The survey only covers a certain part of the country. It did not cover the entire country. So you can imagine when you extrapolate, if we are having a potential $750 billion worth of solid minerals. In just you know, a small segment of Nigeria, imagine what we will derive or what we will find if the survey covers the entire length and breadth of Nigeria.